how the narcissist deals with your silence. When you give the narcissist your silence, it may be difficult for you in the beginning because then you can no longer express your emotions in a healthy way. But you need to recognize that even when you did express yourself to the narcissist, you never got the response that you were hoping for. They never cared when you were upset about something. They never cared when you felt betrayed. They never cared when you felt that they were being mean to you. They didn't try to fix it. They didn't try to coordinate with you. Instead, they blamed you for everything. They blamed you for judging them. They said you were selfish. Just because you were trying to express your emotions. Just because you were trying to tell them how you felt about something. It is a waste of time to offer something valuable to someone who does not understand its value. Your emotions have value. You should not share them with toxic people because they won't appreciate it. They will only invalidate you and then blame you for everything. Which is why from this point on, you need to realize that you're not going to get a healthy response from the narcissist when you choose to express your emotions. And you also need to realize that you cannot change them. You cannot fix everything in life. You may want to be a good person. You may want to help people, but you cannot help everyone. You fell into the trap of thinking that you could help the narcissist, but you need to accept that you cannot fix them. You cannot change who they are. You cannot change how they see things. You cannot change how they choose to behave. And you cannot get them to see the best in everything. Because you're bringing something to the situation that hasn't been called for. They didn't request for anything good. They didn't request for positivity. They're quite comfortable laying in their own filth. They need to have something to complain about. They need to feel like you need to fix something. They need to feel like you need to do more. Or otherwise there would be no reason for them to be angry or upset. And then they would have to accept that they're the problem in this situation. If there's no external issue, the narcissist has no choice to accept that they are at fault. But then they would just self-destruct. Which is why even when everything seems to be perfect, the narcissist will always find something wrong with it. They can never be happy, no matter what you do for them. There always has to be something wrong, because there's something wrong with them. They have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled. They can never be happy with anything. And you will fail by trying to make them happy. It will only destroy you in the end. Which is why the best thing you can do in this situation is to give them your silence. Your silence can be a weapon against narcissistic abuse. 
It gives you control over your own life. It gives you control over yourself. Because when you're around the narcissist, and they're insulting you or putting you down, you have no power. They're taking all of your power away from you because there is no power in constantly reacting to them. You become their slave. You become defensive. You get upset because you're no longer in control of yourself. You're no longer yourself at all. You're their slave and they're your master because they know that if they push your buttons, they're going to get a reaction out of you, which is exactly what they want. They want you to be their slave and they want to be your master. But when you give them your silence, you take your power back. Your silence tells the narcissist that you're not joking. You're not messing around. You're not willing to tolerate their behavior. It tells the narcissist that there can either be a healthy relationship or no relationship at all. It tells them that you're not going to put up with it. But when you remain around them, they take that as a form of consent, as though you agree with them, as though you think that what they're doing is acceptable. It's only when you walk away that they finally realize that you don't accept it, which is why when you remain around them, nothing ever changes because they see your presence as a form of consent. If you weren't okay with it, you would leave. That's how they see it. But when you give them silence, it shows them that you no longer agree with what they're doing. You no longer accept it. And by doing that, you take your power back. You're no longer in reaction mode. You're no longer enmeshed with them. And their way of dealing with this is to talk about you behind your back. They will talk about you to other people. Because in their minds, it makes them feel like you're still there. It makes them feel like you're still a part of their lives. So they will tell people that you're not talking to them anymore. They may say that you're the narcissist. They may say that you're giving them the silent treatment. But if you stay silent, you will stay out of their mess. You will no longer be a part of it. When you give the narcissist your silence, they will try to intimidate you. They will overwhelm you with messages and phone calls. They may stalk and harass you. They may start a smear campaign. They may try to ruin your reputation. They may try to isolate you. They will destroy your boundaries because they have no boundaries and they believe you exist to give them narcissistic supply. They don't believe that there should be any separation. They believe that you exist to serve them. They feel like they can do whatever they want. So when you give them your silence, they will go insane. It will cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. They will give you insults and put downs. They will say horrible things about you. Or they will try to love bomb you again. They will try to get you back. It will change from one moment to the next. 
they will become very desperate because they're very afraid of being abandoned. But you are doing the right thing. Why should you stay in a relationship with someone who has been horrible to you? But they're not going to see it the same way. They thought they got away with everything they did to you. They overlooked all of the things they did. They only focused on the things you did to them. Especially the things that were in response to what they did. But they never think about what they did to you. That's not a concern to them because they don't really care about you. They have no interest in your well-being. All they care about is their fear of being abandoned. That's what brings out their rage. That's what makes them go crazy. And if they can't get to you directly, they will involve other people. They will start a smear campaign against you. They will try to ruin your reputation. But eventually, people are going to get fed up of it. They're going to get tired of hearing the same things about you over and over again. And there's really no purpose in them talking about you if you're no longer a part of their life. Your silence keeps you out of trouble. It keeps you out of their life. It may be hard in the beginning, but it gets easier with time. You will have more time to focus on your life. You will have more time to focus on things that you are passionate about. You will have more time to focus on yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at marksurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.